One of the most insidious signs of a spiritual attack is the gradual development of apathy towards spiritual matters. It's as if a heavy fog descends over your once enthusiastic heart, causing you to lose interest in practices that once filled you with joy and purpose. Whether it's diminishing commitment to your daily spiritual practices, reduced enthusiasm in sharing wisdom and the message of the universe, or difficulty in sustaining your spiritual disciplines, these subtle changes are indicative of a spiritual siege. To break your connection with the universe, evil orchestrates this feeling of lethargy purposefully. Like a cunning predator, it seeks to isolate its prey from the safety of their flock. This is because malevolent forces recognize that once the universe is pushed to the periphery of your life, your soul becomes a more accessible target. They understand that a weakened bond with the universe leaves you vulnerable, like a ship adrift without its anchor. The ultimate goal of evil is to diminish your spiritual strength, for it knows that as chosen by the universe, your potential to bring about positive change in the world is limitless. Thus, vigilance is not just a virtue, it's your shield against this insidious tactic. Protect your relationship with the universe zealously, for it is the foundation upon which your spiritual fortress is built. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where it seems life conspires to strip you of your resources? Although there are natural fluctuations in our financial well-being, sometimes this phenomenon can be a manifestation of a spiritual attack. It's as if malevolent forces are strategically engineering circumstances that force you to make a choice between your faith in the universe and worldly gains. These dilemmas are designed to test your commitment and often prey on your desires and needs. Evil is a cunning adversary, skilled at identifying your vulnerabilities. It understands that by manipulating your financial stability or creating conditions that challenge your access to resources, it can destabilize your spiritual foundation. When you're cornered and face the stark choice of choosing between the universe and material gain, recognize this as a spiritual battle. Divine intervention is needed in these moments. When in need of guidance from the universe, remember that as chosen by the universe, you have been granted the authority to tread upon obstacles and overcome the powers of the enemy. You can navigate these challenges and emerge spiritually fortified through your unwavering faith in the universe. Experiencing persistent physical fatigue, even after adequate rest, may seem disconnected from spiritual matters, but it can be a subtle sign of spiritual attack. This relentless exhaustion, which leaves you drained and lethargic, often goes beyond the physical. A fatigued body is less likely to engage in spiritual exercises, such as prayer and meditation. According to malevolent forces, putting you in a constant state of tiredness can be part of their strategy to weaken your spiritual resolve. Recognize that the tactics of evil can manifest not only through explicit spiritual challenges but also through physical and mental fatigue. A spiritual siege occurs and you consistently fail to muster the energy for spiritual practices. Evil can also orchestrate circumstances in your life that keep you overly busy, leaving you too drained to dedicate time to prayer or meditation. Remember that the universe is the eternal source of strength. Even when your physical body is fatigued, you can turn to the universe for renewal and vitality. As chosen by the universe, you have the ability to access the limitless energy of the universe to overcome these attacks and find spiritual rejuvenation. A weakened prayer life can be a profound indicator of a spiritual attack. Your connection with the universe, nurtured through prayer, is not just a ritual, but a lifeline to the spiritual realm. When you begin to see prayer as an arduous task, it signals that the universe's control over your soul may be waning. Evil often paves the way for this by creating distractions and disturbances in your life that divert you from your spiritual path. Prayer does not change the universe, but it changes the one who prays. It is the transformation within you, the communion with the divine, that prayer fosters. However, when distractions lead you to walk in the flesh instead of the spirit, your prayer life can suffer, and your spiritual connection can wither. Distractions can take many forms, from the demands of a busy modern life to the allure of worldly pursuits. As chosen by the universe, it is essential to recognize the traps set by malevolent forces seeking to hinder your spiritual growth. Your aversion to prayer may signify that evil has managed to interrupt your spiritual communion. 
In times like these, it is crucial to reignite your connection with the universe. Lean on the strength of the universe to guide you back to the path of fervent prayer. Prayer is your direct line to the divine, and even when it feels burdensome, persevering in this sacred practice can revitalize your spirit and strengthen your defenses against the adversary schemes. There are moments in life when everything seems to plunge into chaos, and an overwhelming sense of confusion and helplessness envelopes you. As chosen by the universe, you are accustomed to a sense of clarity and divine direction that accompanies your spiritual journey. However, when you find yourself battling against a persistent fog of fear, anxiety, and confusion, this is an indication that you may be under a spiritual attack. The malevolent forces behind these attacks aim to disturb your connection with the universe and make you feel isolated and powerless. Your guiding and protective force is the universe, and these emotions should not be your primary focus. Evil often attempts to overwhelm your heart with concerns about the challenges and uncertainties in your life, diverting your attention from your spiritual path. It is in these times that you must remember the promise of the universe, it is with you at all times, and you do not need to succumb to fear and anxiety. By entrusting your concerns to the universe and staying attuned to its guidance, you can break free from the shackles of confusion and helplessness and reclaim your spiritual strength. Have you ever experienced moments in your spiritual journey where old habits and lifestyles, from which you had previously disentangled yourself, resurface suddenly? This phenomenon can be profoundly perplexing and disheartening, seeming like a regression from the progress you made in your spiritual growth. A spiritual attack is a possible indicator of this resurgence, more than just a mere coincidence. To weaken your spiritual resolve and impede your progress, the malevolent forces at play attempt to lure you back into your old ways. The chains of habit are too light to be felt until they are too heavy to be broken. These old habits, once reignited, can exert a powerful hold over your life. A common strategy of evil is to exploit your vulnerabilities or tempt you through bad relationships and past behaviors. Before you know it, you might find yourself entangled again in behaviors you had wholeheartedly renounced. Hope is far from lost in this situation. Always remember that the universe is always willing to extend its mercy and free you from these old habits. Seek refuge in your faith and trust in the strength of the universe. Recognize that setbacks are not synonymous with defeat, they are opportunities for redemption and growth. By returning to the universe and seeking its guidance, you can break free from the chains of the past and emerge stronger on your path as a chosen by the universe. It is important to recognize that one of the subtle, yet impactful, signs of a spiritual attack is the gradual withdrawal from universal relationships and spiritual communion. As chosen by the universe, your connection with other believers and your spiritual community plays a vital role in your journey. However, when you begin to find it increasingly challenging to engage in spiritual studies, prayer meetings, or sincere conversations with your spiritual leaders, it is a clear indication that your soul may be under attack. The malevolent forces behind these attacks understand that distancing from these universal relationships weakens your spiritual foundation. There is a sense that they want to isolate you, making you feel like a lone traveler in a vast spiritual landscape. Remember the ancient wisdom that states there is more safety within the flock than wandering alone. This internal impulse to withdraw from your spiritual community is a potent sign that you must not ignore. Defending against this spiritual attack requires remaining vigilant and understanding that your union with other believers is integral to your strength. Seek comfort and support in the embrace of your spiritual family, for together you can thwart the divisive tactics of malevolent forces and rejuvenate your spiritual connection. As chosen by the universe, you may have experienced moments when your dreams and visions take on a disturbing and unsettling character. Instead of being sources of divine guidance, they seem to be filled with ominous or troubling imagery. It is essential to recognize that these disturbing dreams and visions may be indicative of a spiritual attack. Often, such attacks sow fear and confusion in your subconscious mind to disrupt your connection with the universe. They understand that by instigating fear and lack of piety in your dreams, they can distance you from the protective embrace of the universe. Assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled and observe the path your attention follows. 
This wisdom emphasizes the power of your thoughts and feelings in shaping your reality. Similarly, when your dreams and visions are contaminated with fear and darkness, they can lead you down a path of spiritual uncertainty. It is crucial to remember that the universe communicates with you through dreams and visions to provide guidance, peace, and insights about your spiritual path. If you find yourself facing disturbing or profane images, consider this a call to action. Reclaim your dreams and visions as sources of divine illumination, rather than fear, by seeking the guidance and protection of the universe. Finding freedom and restoration is possible in the face of these spiritual attacks. Remember to turn to your Creator in times of adversity, humbly seeking the guidance and protection of the universe, for the universe is the solid rock upon which your faith can stand. Even if you have erred and returned to old habits, know that the universe accepts you as you are and is willing to free you from the oppression of adversaries. Additionally, surround yourself with friends who can guide you toward righteousness. Consider submitting to a universal spiritual authority, mentors who can provide accountability and guidance. Taming your desires through spiritual growth is crucial, as evil often exploits our unchecked desires. Understanding and identifying the signs of a spiritual attack is essential for those who consider themselves chosen by the universe. By remaining vigilant, seeking guidance from the universe, and nurturing your spiritual growth, you can navigate the challenges posed by malevolent forces and continue on your path of spiritual enlightenment and fulfillment.